Hey students, it's your teacher, Ty McCarthy, with the Columbia College GIS program, and I'm just making a quick demonstration video on how you can create custom feature layers in your ArcGIS Online account that you can then add to ArcGIS Online web maps and then use them with your field maps application on your phone to collect your own data in the field. So the first thing you're going to want to do is log into ArcGIS Online and from the home page you can select content. Once you're in the content page you can actually just right here there's a little plus sign that says new item and that's where you can create new layers that can be saved to your account. So we're going to be creating a feature layer today that we're then going to populate with some custom fields and add to a map. That way you can use it with your field maps app on your phone. So we're going to go ahead and select new feature layer, create a new feature layer, and we are going to define our own layer. From here you're going to want to put the name of the layer in. So for example, if you were collecting uh, the locations, for instance, of something like recycling cans or receptacles, um, you can put the name in, and you can also select the feature type, right? So if you're selecting something that is best represented by a point, like the location of a recycling can, or maybe the location of a tree, or something like that, then you can use a point layer. If you're going to be collecting routes or lines you obviously want to use a line you can also um, create polygons as well right so for today i'm just going to walk through the example of creating a point layer for recycling can locations and if you'd like you can also check this field here for add gps metadata fields that'll just give information about the receiver and the accuracy you can also enable z values which will allow their uh, elevation to be collected so if you want elevation to be associated with your point or any of your features, this is where you can select that. Um, you can go ahead and select it in, or uh, save it, sorry, into the folder um, named after your account, or you can create a new folder. Again, up to you. Here, um, you can put things like tags. Tags are essentially um, things, topics, or themes that are related to whatever it is, right? So these are recycling can locations. You could put recycling, you could put trash. You could put facilities, right? Anything that's associated with the feature. And then a summary is always important so that you uh, can share it with somebody and they can read about what it is or um, just to keep, uh, to have a reminder of, of why you created the layer. So for this one, say this layer represents all recycling receptacles. On a Columbia campus, right? So something simple like that. You can save the layer, and it's going to pop up in whatever folder you chose. So I just chose the folder named after my account, so it's just going to pop up in my content. And once the layer is created, here it is in my content. You can see the summary, the name, right? What's great about once you get the layer created in your content is you can actually change a lot of settings and the way that the layer is symbolized to, to meet your needs right so for instance i'll show you how to change the visualization right um, right now these cans once i go out and collect these cans using the field maps app they're just going to be a red dot right but you can click on the symbol and actually change it to appear however you want in the map right so what you do is select layers here and then you can see the properties for that layer pops up and you can edit the layer style and instead of it being right a red dot you can change it to be whatever you want so instead of a basic point right it could be any shape any color you can use the firefly right pick something like this and save that right and once you hit save then that's how all of the points you collect, the location for when you're using the map app are going to be symbolized that way. Now, another important thing is we wanna make sure editing is on so that you can actually add this layer to a map 
and be able to edit it. So you're going to go to settings of this feature layer that you just created, scroll down and you'll see this feature layer hosted section. Make sure that you have enable editing on. Um, you can also, if you'd like, turn on these keeping track of changes and edits if you'd like. Those aren't necessary, but you can do that as well. And then you're going to want to save whatever changes you make uh, so that they work once you use the layer. And then there's one more thing that's really useful about creating these custom feature layers that you can then bring into a map app is that you can also add your own data fields, right? Um, so to do that, you're going to go to data tab on the feature layer, go to fields, and here we can add, right? So for instance, um, this is the recycling cans, right? So maybe we wanted to have type of can, right? So you can say the field name is going to be can underscore type. And that's the field name stored in the table. But then the display name, right, is you, you can use spaces. So you can put type of can or can type, right, like that. Um, and this could also be can size, right, if you wanted to do something like that or, or anything. Um, and then, you know, the type is depends on what you're going to be collecting. For instance, can type would just be a word, right, so that would be string. But if you're going to be collecting numbers or values for this field, then you can change it here to a double or an integer. So in this example, I'm just going to use a string. We'll leave everything else the same. We're going to add that field. Once the field is added, then you can create um, customized values that you can select in the app, right? Um, so we're going to go to can type here and I'll show you what I mean. So again, on the list of attributes here, I'm just going to scroll down. Oh, I got to get back to that. I'm going to scroll down to the field I just created in the layer, which is under data and fields. And here's the can type I just created. So I'm going to select that field. And then you see here on the right, create list. This is where you can create a list of drop down values that you can populate with, right? So say this is metal, a metal can. We'll give that code one. There's also plastic cans, we'll give that code two, right? And you could populate this with more than that, depending on how many potential values you might have. Um, once you've created all the fields you need and give them all a code, a stored value, so you can just start with one and go up from there, and you can save it. So, so now we've created a feature layer, right? We also made sure editing was on, and then we added our own attribute fields with drop-down values. Now we're ready to actually create a map and add this layer to it, and then we'll be able to access that using field maps. So the next step would be to go to the map tab through ArcGIS Online. And once you're in here, you can add the layer that you just created. So you're going to hit the plus sign, browse layers. There's the recycling cans layer I just created. It's at the top of my list because it's the newest layer. I'm going to add that to the map. And now I'm ready um, to, to use it in my field maps. Now, another thing, before you save this and have access to it through field maps, you can also change things like where the map will pan to or uh, where it will open, the extent it will open at in the app. You can also change the base map layer if you'd like, right? So if you want to... Um, put a, instead of the topographic baseline, you can put anything you want, right? So you could add this streets, um, customize that. And then when you're ready, you're going to go save as and save the map. So then it'll pop up in your field maps app. We're going to call this Columbia College Recycle Camps. You can save this and do the same thing. You can add tags. If you'd like, right, recycling or campus, whatever you'd like. And then you add a summary. This map is intended to show locations of recycling cans around 
Columbia College campus or something like that, right? Make sure you give a nice brief summary of what the purpose of the map is, save it, and now you're good to go, right? You've got the layers saved, editing's on, and you added fields that you're gonna populate, then you added that feature layer to a map, customized the base map and the extent of the map, saved it within your content, now you can pull that map up on the, your mobile app on your phone, field maps, select the map, and when you go to add a point, you'll be able to select the type of can, right? Metal or plastic. Um, so this should give you everything you need to create your own layer, create your own map, and use that in field maps. I uh, hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching.